Hey everyone, sometimes in Windows when you're trying to delete a file or a folder, you'll get an error message saying that it's in use and it can't be deleted. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can find out which process is locking the file or the directory so that you can delete it. So here I have just a simple PowerShell script uh, where we just uh, create a file if need be and then we open it. And you can see I have commented out the line that would normally close the file, so we're going to have the PowerShell script hold a lock on the file. So if I go ahead and run this, yeah, so it finished running, you can see it created this temp.txt file. If I open up File Explorer, we can see it's here, but if I try and delete it, we get this error message that it can't be deleted because the file is open by Windows PowerShell. It's open by some other process. Um, so I think this might be new. I don't recall it telling us before which the name of the process that had the lock on the file. Uh, it's nice that it does, but I might have a bunch of PowerShell processes open and not know which one is actually holding a lock on the file. Uh, so to find it, you can open Task Manager and up here on the Performance tab, if you look down at the bottom, you'll see Open Resource Manager or Resource Monitor. You can also just hit the Windows key and search for Resource Monitor directly. Um, so if you open that up, normally you'll start out on the Overview tab. And here if you click to the CPU tab, you'll see this thing here called Search Handles. So if I go back to File Explorer and grab the name of my file that's locked that I'm trying to delete, I can paste it in here, but you need to take the double quotes off the start and the end. You can see here it's searching with double, double quotes. So it's not smart enough to know to trim the double quotes off the, the start and the end. So if I take those off, now it's going to search for that file and we just have to wait a few seconds. And here you can see that it found PowerShell with this process ID is what has our temp.txt file locked so we can't delete it. So um, we can go to Task Manager here and go to the details and I can jump down to the PowerShell processes and here you can see that I do have two running. One of them is locking the file and again the process ID that it's saying has the lock on this file is 16756 and so that would be this guy. So I could go ahead and right click and say end task and that would kill the process and release the lock on the file. Uh, so you can do that from task manager or you can also do it right from the resource monitor window. So I'm going to go ahead and right click, say end process. And yes, I do really want to kill the process. And so you can see right there, uh, the process disappeared from the task manager. It still shows up here just because we haven't refreshed. So if we hit the refresh button, it'll take a few seconds to search again and it should come back empty. And so you can see that it didn't find any processes locking that file anymore. And so now if I go back into File Explorer, we can try deleting this file again. And this time we're able to delete it. So there's a lot of free tools out there that will do this for you as well. But this method is built right into Windows. I think they introduced the resource monitor in Windows 7. I'm not entirely sure, but uh, any later edition of Windows, uh, you can find which process has a lock on a file natively and delete it or end the process so that you can delete the file. Uh, this also works for directories that are locked. I hope you found this useful. Thanks.